Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mallard Doctor here of another review. Today we will be continuing our adware and potential winter program removal series. I'm kind of hesitant to call it a series. I just kind of wanted to make a secondary video to follow up with my Bitdefender adware removal tool. So a very well-known adware removal program is ADW Cleaner. It's been around for a while. If we actually go onto the web page here, It's developed by a group named Explode. Um, it's very commonly downloaded off of Bleeping Computer, but if we just go off of their main page here, we see that there's been about 80 million downloads, so definitely a pretty commonly downloaded adware removal tool. So it doesn't just do adware, it also does potential wanted programs or undesirable programs, toolbars, which I have installed quite a few today to make this review a little bit more interesting. I installed the AVG, the Yahoo, um, I have the Amazon toolbar. Uh, let's see what else I have here. I think I have a couple more. Um, let's go under uh, you have the Babylonian toolbar, Amazon, I also have the Skype and uh, Yahoo toolbar. So I put that in this review also to make it kind of interesting and kind of cater to that removal capability of ADW Cleaner. And there's also a hijacker remover. So if your home page is changed, it should remove any undesirable home pages that keep being forced back onto the user. It also works with search and delete mode, and it can be easily uninstalled using the mode uninstall. It works with Windows XP and newer. So if you actually download it, it's a very small download. It'll actually, you see it's about 2.13 megabytes, so pretty small. So if we just run it, it doesn't have a digital signature, but I really won't worry about that. So just click on run. It's a safe program. So then we get a ADW cleaner pops up. Now it just says waiting for action. It's pretty straightforward. In my opinion, we have a scan button, which will start scanning for potential wanted programs or adware, whatever you want to call it. So it's actually starting to scan right now. And once this is done scanning, I will be right back. Hello everyone, I am back. ADW Cleaner finished scanning. Under services, it found um, Yahoo Updater. Under folders, it picked up on quite a few items here. Um, we see we have um, Babylon, uh, the AOL toolbar, uh, system tweak. We have some programs it picked up on as well as some uh, browser add-ons. You can see we have several of the programs that are installed on the computer have been detected underneath the folder tab. And we have files here that have been detected. No shortcuts. Scheduled task that I am assuming that will be removed. Registry, we see registry keys that are going to be removed. Nothing under Internet Explorer, Firefox, um, under Chrome. Looks like our search defaults have been changed under type it says search provider so looks like something is trying to change our search provider to AOL and ask so you can see you're more than likely conflicting with one another which is kind of funny I guess but anyway we are going to clean we're not going to create a log file I don't really think it's necessary so we're just going to clean all of the files that have been detected by ADW cleaner I'm going to click on OK Right now it's just deleting all of the items that it detected. So now we have a little, so that finished up pretty quickly. It gives us a little information box here saying just some general tips on avoiding potential wanted programs and adware in the future. Click on OK. It says it must restart the computer in order to complete the removal process and then the report will be opened on the next reboot. So we click on OK and automatically restart the computer here. And once the computer has finished rebooting, I will run a scheme with CCleaner, remove any temporary internet files or cookies that might still be on the system. And then I will run a scheme with Malwarebytes, Timman Pro, ESET's online scanner, that kind of thing, just to see what remnants are, are left behind. And I will be right back. Hello everyone, I'm back from Restore. We see that ADW Cleaner has op opened up a text file containing the log of what was removed. Folder deleted, tasks deleted, keys deleted. 
pretty much all of that. And we see we still have stuff on the computer here. Um, but pretty much all I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a scan with CCleaner, like I said, and then I'm going to run some other scans, and I will be back. Hello, everybody. I'm back. Came in Pro finished scanning. Found a couple of items here, some in program data. Um, here's our registry key, and then we have this Babylon toolbar, Aspar, RegClean Pro, and then a couple tracking cookies, and then uh, ESET's online scanner. We found several items in the in the AD, ADW cleaners um, quarantine, so we can pretty much ignore all of those up there that have um, the quarantine and the file extension name. And then we have this US tech support, something, a couple things in temp, and then something in operating memory. And then Malwarebytes just found uh, one potential wanted program. So definitely a few things were left behind. Nothing here. I mean there's quite a few of these that are borderline adware potential wanted programs. I'm not gonna really argue each one of these programs on a case by case basis, but generally ADW Cleaner did a very good job in my opinion in this video. Um sure it left behind several items. Um actually if we open up in our explorer here we see we don't have as many toolbars. We've lost um I believe it was the AOL toolbar is no longer here. And I mean, it's pretty easy to disable toolbars, so it's not like the hardest thing to remove, but it um, appears that it's not available, but it's enabled. Um, I don't know, but anyway, so I mean, not as much is currently in our browsers or on the computer. I think it did a decent job, and if used of other malware and potentially wanted program moving software like malwarebytes and those kind of programs uh, you're probably going to be pretty good so i think that will be about it for this review take it as you wish and i will talk to you later bye